It's honestly really weird to think that next month we'll be playing Persona 5 Strikers, a game that I had made so many videos on trying to reassure people it was definitely happening, being worried about it possibly being cancelled, to the eventual reveal that definitely went the way Atlas wanted it to. But in the time frame since the official reveal to now, we've gotten a few new details about the process of recording the dub for the game, as well as some clarifications on pre-orders and the like. So, in this video, I'd like to talk about not just the dub process, but clear up some stuff about the pre-order bonuses that we talked about last time. Side note, apologies for this coming out a bit late, my editing software has been on the damn fritz lately and wouldn't let me export a video until now, but it's thankfully been fixed. Thanks iMovie! Alrighty, let's talk about the dub process, though this one's going to be fairly short. In a video from Cassandra Lee Morris, the English VA for Morgana with Ons English VA Erica Harlocker, the two had talked about the game's dubbing. Sign up, be sure to check out her channel down below for some good content, but also some more videos with her and other P5 actors and actresses, like Xanthe Huynh, Eric Lindbeck, and... <laughs> According to Erica, they had actually started recording the dub in April, which actually isn't too long after Royal had released here in the West. To quote, It was like about to start, right when quarantine went into effect, and then we had to like kind of put it on hold, thinking that we would just go back into the studio in a couple of weeks. And then we didn't. Then we had to come up with a plan B. She had also said that they sent her some recording equipment as well, so everyone is using the same equipment when recording the game's dub. They had also expressed having to ignore people asking them about the localizations of tweets and the like, which is completely understandable given the fact that there's an NDA and such. It was heavily speculated for a long time, including from myself, that COVID-19 was the reason why this game took so long to get announced. It's completely understandable why it took so long, though, even though I would have liked something earlier. The game happening at all is great, and I'm happy the actors and actresses were able to record something under safer conditions. And from what I've seen of the English version and its voice work, they still have a lot of touch when it comes to voicing these characters. They're as great as ever. Secondly, I'd like to talk a little bit about pre-orders now. In the last video, there was a lot of confusion surrounding pre-orders, given the lack of any info at the time. However, now we know a little bit more, and many of my worries and complaints have thankfully been rectified. Let's start off here with the Steelbook. In the last video, it was confirmed that a Steelbook would be happening for the game, but it was going to be exclusive at Best Buy. No big deal, a lot of retailers do that for some games, but it seemed like it was only for the Switch. Yeah, if you got the PS4 version, you wouldn't get a Steelbook whatsoever. This wasn't just plain confusing, but in many ways also bizarre. Since then, however, the mistake has seemingly either been rectified, or they changed their minds on a lot for PS4 users to also get a Steelbook. So yeah, whether you pre-order the Nintendo Switch version or the PS4 version at Best Buy, you now get a Steelbook. The other pre-order confusion came down to a digital deluxe edition. It seemed like, going off the info we had, this version was exclusive to the Steam version. This came with a lot of bonus content, of course, but also a four-day early unlock. This was extremely cool and got a lot of people, including myself, really excited. However, like I had mentioned earlier, this caused a lot of confusion due to this image. It was seeming like the Digital Deluxe Edition was exclusive to Steam, and you wouldn't be able to get this early unlock if you got the PS4 or Switch versions digitally. However, that's also now being cleared up, with the Digital Deluxe Edition being available for all platforms, extra content, and the early unlock as well. And yes, I got this version, because yes, I'm a sucker. There's only one more thing to talk about, and it's going to be very short because there's not much info we have on it yet. But Atlas did another oopsie. Yeah, at the time of recording this video, Atlas has unlisted another trailer on their YouTube channel for Strikers. It's a 30 second promo with a new remix of Rivers in the Desert in the background. I haven't seen it personally, so keep an eye out for it whenever it goes live on Atlas West's YouTube channel. So with that said, we're done here. My question for today is what version of Strikers are you planning on getting? Platform, edition, digital or physical? Let me know down below. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Signing off. Peace out, everyone.